everyone, welcome back to Storytime. So last time our story was about Joseph and today we're going to see the story where Joseph reunites with his brothers. So it's called Reunited. In Canaan, times were hard for Jacob and his family. He decided to send his sons, all except Benjamin, to Egypt where corn was for sale. So Joseph's brothers stood before him and not recognizing him and asked if they might buy some corn. Joseph knew them at once and decided to see if they were still as cruel as they used to be. Pretending to think they were spies, he had them thrown into prison. Three days later, he told them to return home and bring back their youngest brother. Joseph loved Benjamin and very much wanted to see him again. Joseph kept one brother behind to make sure that the other brothers would return. Joseph ordered his servants to fill his brothers' bags with corn before they set off for home. Back in Canaan, the brothers told Jacob everything, but he refused to let Benjamin go. He was terrified of losing another son. Eventually, the corn ran out. Judah began and begged his father to let him return to Egypt, promising to look after Benjamin. Finally, Jacob agreed, and so the brothers came once again to Joseph, who had to fight back tears when he saw Benjamin. Is your father well? he asked them. As they replied, they bowed low to him just like the corn sheaves had bowed in Joseph's dream so many years before. Joseph ordered food to be brought in and told the servants that Benjamin was to be given more than anyone else. Then the brothers' sacks were filled with food. This time, Joseph had his own silver cup hidden in Benjamin's bag. The brothers set off, but Joseph sent his guards after them to look for the missing cup. Horrified at the discovery of the cup, the brothers went back to Joseph and threw themselves at his feet. The man whose sack my cup was found must stay here as my servant. The rest of you can go, Joseph commanded. Let me stay instead, begged Judah. Father will die of grief if Benjamin does not return. Now Joseph was sure that his brothers had changed. He sent the servants out of the room, burst into tears and announced, I am Joseph. His brothers stood shocked and terrified. It was God's plan that I was sent here to Egypt, Joseph told them, so that I would be in a position to look after you when difficult times come. There are still five more years of famine to come. You must go home and bring the rest of the family here to live near me. Joseph hugged Benjamin, then the rest of his brothers, as tears of joy streamed down his face. So Jacob and all his family, the children of Israel, left Canaan and came to live in Egypt. There Jacob was reunited with his much-loved son Joseph. Jacob settled comfortably in the best part of Egypt and lived to be a great old age. This story shows us the power of forgiveness that Joseph had for his brothers. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we can learn so much through your Bible stories. We ask you, Lord God, to help us to be able to forgive others who have hurt us, Lord God. Father, that we can be reunited with them, Lord God. And Father, that we can love them just as you call us to do. Amen. Thank you for joining me for Bible Story today. I'll see you next time. Bye.